Stimwalt here. Today we're going to look at how to play the Necromancer Demon in Evil Dead the game. We'll start off by looking at our Deadite spawns. So first off, we've got the Elite. It can smash and toss. We've got the regular or basic skeleton. It can thrust, war cry, and dodge. And then we've got the Big Daddy, the boss. This guy has skeleton support, resurrection, infernal invigoration, and dodge. All of these abilities make him really powerful, especially if you use him in conjunction with the flutist. I'm feeling good. So let's just go ahead and take a look at some of the skills when we're in the game and we need to upgrade. So you constantly want to be in here and upgrading as you continue to gain your threat level at the bottom right of the screen. Infernal energy is by far the most important thing that you max to level five because it will give you regenerated uh, infernal energy. It also gives you a more maximum. So this is the one definitely take to five. Possession, it's kind of up to you. I typically don't put anything into possession because my entire strategy with the Necromancer is overwhelm. Just have so many units with the flutist out that they just can't do anything about it. I usually will put at least two or three points into basic and elite. You can absolutely put as many points as you want into these because at level five, you get an additional unit spawned. And with a Necromancer Demon, additional unit spawns are great. Um, but the additional unit only seems to come with the basic. So I would recommend you pick one or the other. Maxing out the boss is a no brainer. Evil Ash just gets so powerful at level five. And with the Flutist out, you're almost unbeatable. Demon Vision, I wouldn't even bother with it. Uh, it seems like a weird skill. I mean, I understand maybe taking it early on in the game, but it still doesn't make as much sense to going, to me, as going traps. I would go traps because traps at level three gives you an elite unit that spawns on the trap, and that's amazing. It's really important to just place as many traps as you can early on in the game, as you'll see. And keep in mind that threat level in the lower right corner, that is how you apply these points. Under my guidance, we will reap the flesh from their bones. Yeah, so let's just go ahead and place some traps. Ideally, you're going to place those traps near the dagger or the pages. So just head in that direction. Several pieces of the map lie hidden nearby. They contain the So as you run towards it, just pick up those orbs. And then just start placing traps. It doesn't really matter where you place them, just sort of surround the dagger or the pages with traps. Pick up more energy, place more traps, pick up more energy, place more traps. And then you're going to hit tab. Once in the lower right hand corner, your threat level goes to level two. Then I'm going to put points into traps because I think that getting to level three traps as early as possible is crucial for the Necromancer gameplay because the entire point of the Necromancer is basically the amount of units you can spawn and overwhelming while having the Flutist out. That is, that's how you play it. You can certainly do other things, but that's really how you win with Necromancer and you can win the game really early with the Necromancer by simply maxing out traps and maxing out your energy regeneration and then going boss. You want to pick either basic portal or elite portal, but don't, don't don't put a bunch of points into both because then you're sort of taking away from the strength of your boss. Putting as many traps down as I can, and then I'm just going to upgrade my traps. Once I get to level three, it will spawn an elite unit. Oh, it looks like someone made a noise or... Hmm. Well, anyway, let's just go ahead and keep getting our orbs and placing traps. You can go to the dagger and to the pages. You really shouldn't try looking for them. It makes more sense to level your character until they make a noise, get in a car, do something stupid to alert alert you. So just keep placing these traps. This one's a little buggy. See if I can get the back out. There we go. Ash's hand. Set the trap. Cool. And so it's important just to keep your eyes up um, while you're placing traps to see if, if they trigger you. So um, place something here. And we'll head towards the pages. And just start placing traps around that too. Because you know they have to go there. They have to go there to win the game. So it makes sense to place. Put something right here. Over here. Uh, vehicle is being driven. So now I'm going to place this last trap and just head towards them. Now it makes sense to spend time harassing them. 
And here we go. It looks like one character all by himself. It is Ash. So Ash is a really strong melee character. I'm going to try to harass him, scare him, basically get him to level me up. I'll scare him now. And that's the C key. So when you scare someone, it gives you a bunch of energy. Then I put down the, the flutist. I possessed one of these guys and I just started hitting him. So the first thing I noticed about Ash is he's really strong. And he went straight for the flutist. So he is not a newbie. He knows how to play the game. So most likely I'm not going to be able to kill Ash here. I'll do some damage and I'll get him to help me level my threat level. But I'm probably not going to be able to kill him. You see he's dodging me too. So in this game if you dodge you're invulnerable. And if you enter a kill animation with F, you're invulnerable. So it's important, I didn't even see it there when I was attacking, to, to wait for the animation to end before you engage. Because you're just, you're not doing anything, right? So now we're going to max out traps, put more into infernal energy. And you see how I have one in elite and basic portals. I'm going to stick with Ash for a little bit longer just because I know he is going to run into some of these traps as he's exploring for loot. And he's just going to help me level up a little bit more. All pieces of the map have been collected. The mortals will seal the breach if they are not They got all the map, which is fine. That happens actually pretty quickly into a game. The big thing is to protect the dagger and the pages. Ah, you see? I got an elite out of that scare, which is nice. The humans have discovered the book's lost pages. They were okay, lost so for a now, reason. now it's time to forget about Ash Kill and start defending. So this guy's by himself, and he's not as strong as Ash, so it might be worth harassing him for a little bit. I have a scare up with C, and I have my flutist up with Q. And I have enough energy for spawns, so I'm just waiting for the right moment. Here we go. Got one spawn out. Drop Flutist. Possess. Let's start hitting. Yeah, see, look at how much damage I'm doing. I wanted to become a thing of the flesh. Now, he's an experienced player because he's running away from me, so I'm going to charge at him. Let's see if I can hit him. He looks like he's healing as well. I, I hit him. I'm going to try to throw the trident, but I probably won't hit him from this distance. Nope. I missed it. So, again, that's an experienced player. When you see a flutist, you run away. That's the smartest thing to do. Uh, I was going to try to kill the flutist. Let's see if I can get a scare off to get more energy. I did. Let's see if I can get someone spawned before he kills the flutist. I failed. Okay. So let me just go ahead and hit him. And we'll abandon that attack. Okay, so again I'm going to pump up my energy so I can get that regeneration. And then next I'll go into boss. So all of these traps that are up right now, they're going to help me a lot because they're going to produce a lot of fear. Which means I could possess if I wanted to. So we'll spawn, we'll do a flutist, I will possess, and let's just start hitting him. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of damage, the flutist gives me so much increased damage, let's drop him on the ground. He doesn't have a chance, he's not Ash. Alright, that's down, so we'll unpossess. Unpossess. Alright, we'll do another... Oh! So they... They collected the book, so it reset everything, and that guy was able to get off the ground. We have never been closer to An interesting game mechanic. Kind of sucks because I had him down, but he gets he gets a freebie there. So now they're at the dagger. I am going to focus on boss. And ooh, there's a guy in a corner. This is a perfect time to spawn my boss with my flutist because he can't escape if I do it right. So I got one there. We'll do a scare to get more energy. Drop the flutist, and then we'll do the boss. Now he's in a lot of trouble. One hit. That was crazy. Okay, so we just guard this down. I, I know you're all 
He's trapped in a corner. They have to come through me to get to the to the get to the flutist and get to the down. So I just basically sit here, and because I put so many points into regeneration of my energy, I can stay as this character for a long time. All right, let's do a Darth Vader. Gimme, give gimme give your health, and I can take him down in probably two hits here. You just start swinging. Yes, one, two, three hits. Okay, so now I got two downs that I'm protecting. And I just stand in the doorway so someone can't just rush my flutist. Okay, one's dead. So now I could go in and upgrade my boss, but I might just try to take this guy down first. Two, three. Yeah, four hits. Pretty good. Oh, that's Ash. So Ash is here. He's the one I have to kill. And he is... He's not easy to kill. As you can see, he's a lot stronger, more durable. Oh, so I want to protect the downs. Rather than go for Ash, we'll go for the weaker guy. And... He's in an animation. Still in an animation. Running away, which is smart. I'll go try to kill this down. Okay, so I'm going to do a resurrection of my skeletons. I'm going to... Get this guy back down. He's down. Get this guy down. He's down. I am running out of time. As you can see in the bottom, that red gauge is pretty low. So I will just try to focus on Ash here. Oh, he's low. I might get him right here. He dodged. Very nice. Remember, you are invulnerable during dodges. He just drank a cola or a soda pop. I'll just do a Darth Vader here. Got another death. And Ash is in an animation. Oh, I just lost my evil Ash. So now, what I want to do is spawn, possess, and just focus on Ash. Because he's the only one left. And he's doing really well, though. Very well against me. Okay, so now I need to do a scare to get more energy. Then I spawn. Flutist. Here we go. Res or not resurrect, but possess. And now it's just overwhelming with numbers at this point. Just going to poke at him. He's dead. There we go. So yeah, the general strategy for Necromancer is overwhelm. Use the flutist at the right time. Make sure the flutist is in a protected area or hidden out of sight. And then just poke, poke, poke away. <laughs> Having the regeneration, though, was really key for the energy regeneration. That was so key because it allowed me to stay as Evil Ash much longer. And the traps help a lot, too. So let's take a look at what skills I might devote to the Necromancer. He's still pretty low level for me, um, but if you go to the left, I've got Flute to Kill, which is increases the bonus damage and defense that the Flutus provides. Um, we've got increases balance bar length of elite units. It's okay. Maximum health of elite units. Okay, that's pretty good. Balance bar of basic units. That's good. Increased the amount of energy received from orbs. That's really good. That's the one I'll probably put points into. Boss, more resistant. Okay. And then maximum health of basic units. So based on the way I play, I use a lot of basic units. And I struggle with getting orbs. So I think I'm going to put my points into those first. And then I may change it down the line. Remember, when you devote points, you can reset the skill points later. So it's not forever. And you can also spend spirit points to get more points to allocate. So keep that in mind. You can always reset. So hopefully this makes sense and helps you play the Necromancer. If you want to see more, don't forget to like, subscribe, and enable notifications.